Hey, what's up? How is it going? I'm Adam Amakaias, and today we're going to talk about how to go from kind of working for free or doing photography as a hobby and taking it to a career or something you can charge money for and make a living off of. Because it all, I think everybody kind of starts as doing it as a hobby, shooting for their friends, shooting for their family, some people they know, and eventually it's like, hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. I want to make a living. So I'm here to kind of help you, tell you what I did, tell you what worked for me, and hopefully you can use some of it, apply it to your life, and make it work. As always, I write a blog that goes with pretty much every video, so if you want a more in-depth look or you like to read, just go to adamomakias.com and check it out. All right, here we go. So photography is cool because as you learn, as you get better at it, uh, you can kind of make money along the way. You know, you're going to be better than you are now eventually, but that doesn't mean that you can't make a little bit of money now while you're learning. So for me, I started out doing senior portraits in high school, uh, working for friends, working for family, eventually started photographing local bands, and from there it kind of grew and scaled. So, you know, it started with $50 a shoot, got to a couple hundred, got to a couple thousand, and now I make a living off photography. But the feeling I felt, and I think that other people feel as well, is, hey, I am, I'm good at this, I'm getting better at this, but how do I, it's kind of awkward to say, hey, pay me for something I've done for you for free, or pay me for this thing where I'm not 100% great at it yet, but I'm getting better, but I want to make some money because I feel like I'm working. There's kind of a weird balance there and a weird jump to make. So it, to me, when I started, it kind of felt, it kind of felt like I was lying. It kind of felt like I was misleading my client or the person I wanted to work with by saying, hey, pay me money, because I didn't feel like I was a professional yet. And you know, that feeling, it shouldn't mean you don't get paid. What you're getting paid for in photography is every time you do a photo shoot, you're doing the best job you possibly can. And this is important because the money you make from a photo shoot is good. That's going to pay your bills. But the most important part are the relationships you make. So the people you meet, how you treat them, and how they leave feeling from the shoot. So as long as they leave feeling like you did your best job, and you leave feeling like you did your best job, nobody's bummed out with the final product, then you did your job. That's all there is to it. Maybe sometimes your photo shoots, they aren't as good as your last one. Or maybe sometime your next one is better than the one you just did. Whatever it is, as long as you're doing your best job, then you deserve to get paid. So if you feel like you're good enough, you feel like you do your best job, you feel like people are asking you to do photo shoots now, you know, people are coming to you for work, things like that, then you probably, you should probably start charging for what you do because you are doing a job. How to figure out what to charge? Well, you, it's basically, it's an equation. So, the equation. There are a lot of different variables that go into this equation, and, you know, sometimes some of them are going to be more important than others, and sometimes you won't even need to consider parts of it. However, no matter what the job is, there are two that will always come into play, and that is, who are you working for, and how much time is it going to take? Now, I say who because you are going to charge more to a Fortune 500 company than you are to your aunt for her family photos. You need to think about who is paying the bill. And just because one job pays you X doesn't mean that another job is going to pay you more than X and then another job is going to pay you 10 times as much as X. You know, it's really scalable and it's important not to get stuck in kind of a set fee mentality. I think this is a great way to go about charging people because I like to work with as many different clients as possible and some people can afford some things and other people simply can't. However, to me, the most important thing is working with those people. Now, the other most important variable is time. How long is this shoot gonna take? Is it a day, a few days, a week? Now, for me, I just break it down to an hourly thing. How much do I wanna get paid an hour? And when I started, it was 20 bucks, and now it's much more. And that's why it's important to know this is an equation because all the components stay the same. However, their values will change as you grow, as you get better, and as you work with different people. Now, in addition to who and how long, there are a bunch of other variables that come into play, but they're just not as important. And that's basically, you know, how much money are you spending to get this shoot done? Do you have to travel? Are there supplies? Do you have to hire other people? You need to take all those things into account as well, and that'll help you know how much to charge for the job you need to do. Now, we could get more specific about how much to charge for what and all those things, but you're going to have to kind of figure that out on your own because it's so different for everybody. However, the most important part to me with all these jobs and everything I do is that my client leaves happy, leaves satisfied. I kind of think of it as no bad experiences, just good relationships. And that's because doing a job well is great. That's going to get you money. It's going to get your bills paid. 
All those things are awesome. A good client experience is going to help you have a career that lasts a lifetime. The people you do good work with are going to tell their friends. Their friends are going to come to you, you're going to do good work again, and they're going to tell their friends. And before you know it, you're going to be more busy than you can handle. And that stays the same no matter how successful you get. You always need to have good client experiences. I like to think of it as I work with people, I don't work for them. And that's important to me because together we are making the best product we can. And in the end, everybody will leave happy, satisfied, and with good experiences. It's, I mean, you just, that's, that's what really working comes down to. And I don't really agree when people mm, get mad on the internet or call a company out or talk about their bad work experiences. Because to me, that's scary. I don't want to ever work with somebody and have them put our personal business on blast. You know, I am confident with myself that I operate in a very good way, so I am not really afraid of them airing out my bad laundry or whatever the saying is. I just think that I never want to be the one that somebody else sees doing that because it looks poorly on me. I know the goal of these people is to maybe make somebody else look bad, but I think it often backfires. So I would really, really, really suggest not doing that. And, you know, I made that mistake when I started out. Maybe I was dis maybe I was upset with the way, you know, a company didn't treat me or the way you use my images. But now, I just don't care. And it's not because I can afford to not care now. It's because I can't afford to care. I need those good relationships. I need those good work experiences. That is what I rely on heavily. The money is great. It's good to get paid. But trust me, it will come. And it will become on an exponentially higher level if you keep working with people, having good experiences, networking, and growing your kind of your client base. So that's my advice to you. I hope that helps. Like I said, I have a blog with all this typed out if there's a little bit too much information coming at you. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Keep shooting. You're doing great, and we're all rooting for you. All right, peace.